What's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be seeing about charts this is one of the most requested videos on this uh, channel and hence i decided to work on this today so uh, in the last in the past few videos we have been seeing how to uh, get data from firestore and show it in a data table right so in this video what we'll be primarily doing is get some data from the firestore collection and then show it on a chart Uh, for that we are going to be making use of this uh, ngx charts module uh, which is pretty much a famous module and uh, um, yeah we'll we'll look into that we'll look into that today so uh, what shall we do what we'll basically be building is something like this uh, we'll have a form a survey form maybe and uh, the user will uh, have like three fields to choose from one is a country another one is the gender and another one is a rating field and the rating will be on a scale of 1 to 5 with 5 being the highest and 1 being the lowest so uh, once the user gives all his uh, enters all the fields and then clicks on uh, save or submit then immediately uh, all the data will be uh, sent to our firebase collection yeah uh, firestore collection and then we can simply pull those data and show it neatly in a chart we'll use a pie chart okay let's see how to do this uh so yeah first i have uh, i have installed firebase and anglo fire 2 in this particular uh, application that i have scaffolded out just now so i'll go ahead and install the one more thing uh, npm install what was that as per the guide i'll just copy this ngx chart is by a company called swim lane thanks thanks to that company obviously We'll do a pie chart now. Okay. Let this get loaded. This let this get installed. Meanwhile, I'll go here and then. Sim- okay, all the imports are done, I guess. Uh, let's create a service which will be making use of ng generate service. Um, what service? Okay. Okay, that's done. Uh, we'll import that service as well. Okay uh now inside this app.component.html I will simply remove all this code and I have some code I have I have decided to use material 2 here guys as well uh if you want you can use it otherwise just use whatever ui uh, framework or or library that you are already using uh yeah anyway like i decided to use uh, angular material and in order to save some time i'll just copy and paste some code here that i have written previously okay uh matt radio group edit import This is done. Matt, ready? Model is important. Okay. Uh, now we will write corresponding code for this in app. dot component. dot ts as well. Uh, first, remove this. Uh, we will import. Uh, what? Inventory, right? Oh, that's no matter. And in this uh, save entry, first we'll create a survey. Was that three fields? Country, gender, and rating. Right? Country. Uh, 
and uh, a very simple thing this dot vote oh i don't have that right i'll go back here and then import from uh, angular fire to sorry angular fire Okay, this is done. Now we have something to save. Uh, so this dot uh, vote dot save entry. This dot survey. Okay. So what we have done basically is uh, we have a form fields, three fields, three select fields. I mean a couple of select fields uh, and a radio group. So what this will do is uh, we this will let us select a country. This will let us select a gender and this will let us select a rating. So uh, once we have done that, we just click on erased entry, I mean not raised entry, saved entry button and uh, it gets saved onto our Firestore collection called surveys. Not surveys or just survey, I forgot. Surveys, okay. Uh, uh, we'll also have a function that pulls all the entries so that we could uh, show them in a chart okay so get all entries surveys dot value changes okay Okay, uh, it's cool, right? We will be returning an observable. Now, uh, here what I'll do is I'll have ng on in it. ng, not ng on in it. On in it. And uh, implements on in it. ng on in it start we'll have something called chart data this dot uh, you need to get that and process the data right how is this data here it just has name and value uh, keys right so we need to provide data exactly like this so that our chart works fine right so rather than we just need to get pull data and then send it for processing so this dot vote dot uh, get all entries dot subscribe one we once we get the uh, data we'll send it to this dot process data and uh, we'll send this results to that okay uh, this dot process data results process data uh, entries and inside this uh, we need to give it like name and uh, value right for each chart so first i'll get the chart and then i'll think about this i'll simply copy this and paste it there da -da 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 -da. we'll just save time okay a lot of errors First of all, I think I need to import something here. Yeah. And then get 
take it back to app.component.ts this dot process data wait uh, view color scheme and there are a lot of things view here it is Okay, now I simply need to give results and uh, gradient. I don't need this. I know this. On select. Yeah, on select. Once again, I'll copy and paste it. Here. Okay, now uh, what were those three fields? Country, gender, and rating, right? First, we'll go with country. Okay. So uh, entries dot for each mm, this will have the countries first we need to count number of countries and uh, uh, no for each country oh, there are four countries right India USA Germany and Brazil so I'll what I'll do is okay uh, yeah I got got it right I'll count the number of entries pertaining to each country and then uh, show it in a pie chart. Okay. So what I'll do is if Wow, this is done. So if uh, this dot country count of element dot country country, then uh, this dot country count of element dot country plus equals one. Else this dot country count of element dot country equals one you understand what i'm doing here right i'm simply uh, populating the country count array in such a way that uh, the country count now, now has all the countries and the values would be the uh, number of times each country is occurring in that particular uh, resultant data set that we got from the uh, surveys collection you'll understand it better when i run this so i'll even i'll do a console.log so that you get what i'm trying to say here okay this will return the number of count right uh, this will return the count and uh, what else do we need to populate ah, we need to populate this dot country data right what I'll do is uh, start country no let single entry equals name. name would be the key obviously and uh, value would be the this dot country count of key and uh, I'll simply this dot country data dot push single entry that's it right okay that's it right now uh, country data will have all that is needed for us okay you will understand this better when I show it rather than me just talking about it uh, country data save this and 
obviously there won't be any data uh, once this is there right so i'll go ahead and app dot component dot ts and have something called chart data chart data boolean false Now let's simply run this. Wow. We get something and we get a chart here as well, but the problem is we don't have any data, right? So first we'll give some data. Use a mail and then I'm giving a rating of five. Oh, there's no button. Or is the button hidden behind this? I'll give here as he was a uh, mail five, and then I'll click, click on save entry. Wow, you can see the output, right? Just we just have one single uh, country with value one, so it's occupying hundred percent. And it's also showing this uh, small tooltip kind of thing and it also has a legend because we are since we gave all this let's add more data first i'll change the color of this button primary so that you'll get to know the difference uh, color was an unnecessary thing anyway uh we, see uh, i'll add more stuff germany female and then for you can see the difference right it automatically assigned another color not only that it just split the it's a pie chart see you get my point right now i'm adding one more entry for india and it's splitting equally right adding one more entry for usa you get my point right so now usa has two entries in germany has one and india has two so the pie chart has, uh, it looks like what uh, what I'm trying to say here is that the result we could see is in real time, right? So this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, uh, we could simply pull data from Firestore. We could simply pull this data of Firestore and then uh, display it in a chart in a beautiful way, guys. This is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, in my next video, next video in the sense I, I'll make that video now itself, uh, in the video, if this video is uploaded, then within a few hours, the next video will be uploaded. Uh, I'll show you how to make a wonderful, uh, rating system. Okay. Real time rating system in Amazon. If you see that will be five star rating, four star, three star, two star, and one star. And depending on the number of stars that you give for a particular product, the rating for that product would automatically get calculated. And also the animation in the star would get uh, it would get changed right uh, we could do that with a horizontal like uh, where is it this one we could do this with a horizontal bar chart like the one shown here in a pretty much simple way i'll and, and we also have this rating here right for each entry we are giving a rating so we could make use of that rating and then i'll show you how to do that in a pretty simple way so yeah guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, hope you found this helpful. If you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. We could make all kinds of charts. We could make literally make all these charts available here and you could present your data in a beautiful way. This is just a simple demo. That's it, right? So uh, yeah guys, uh, if you like this video, kindly hit the like button, share it with someone and help them too. And uh, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this. In a few hours, I'll upload the uh, rating system that you could show beautifully with the help of a chart. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.